With the shrill of his whistle and Derby County against Sheffield Wednesday is off and underway in the first half here. The Owls will play from right to left, putting pressure on the end away to our left, occupied by Lee Grant. Very important they start well. And Jake Buxton, centre-half, lashes a high ball out to this near side, controlled by Cyrus Christie. Not entirely sure he meant that, Jake Buxton. It was a wild strike of the ball, but the Owls quickly get the ball back. And the Sheffield Wednesday fans nestled in the quadrant on the uh, far side of the field are uh, already in full voice. Wednesday are going to need them in the south stand today. Well, it's a chop, an opportunity, is it? It's a free kick just outside the penalty area. McGugan had a shot towards goal. It was blocked. Maybe he was taken out after the event. So Wednesday have a free kick here, just back right of the D. Good position. Uh, great position, yeah. McGugan actually was looking to shoot and he had his shirt pulled. And the referee just played that extra second, but it uh, went out for a corner. But I thought he, but he, he pulled it back for the free kick. Actually, it's a better position for Wednesday here. Like I said, it's just off centre. It's a perfect spot for uh, the likes of McGugan, and it wouldn't be a bad time to start scoring goals. Wouldn't it just? Well, Stuart Gray was speaking in his press conference about a defining period. Wednesday could do with some defining moments. Up steps McGugan from 25 yards, he shoots! Absolutely glorious! What a goal from Lewis McGugan! His first in a Sheffield Wednesday shirt, and it's an absolute stunner! The free kick bent home from 25 yards, one to savour! Derby County nil, Sheffield Wednesday one! Lee Grant rooted to the spot, he had no chance over the wall with pace, Ince steps one way, dinks his shoulder left and right, Elan's with him though, like a second skin, so he has to go back into the centre circle. Now Buxton, forward it goes to Hendrick, who's unmarked in the middle of the park, slipped to the edge of the box, oh. Hughes there, only needed a touch, a chance here, it's off the post, and it's Cannon behind, last ditch defending by Wednesday, Derby on two occasions had an open goal, it was an acute angle for Ince, who rattles his fist into the turf, but after it had cannoned off the post, Lee was there to knock the ball behind for a corner. Wednesday but, still lead 1-0. Although Derby have had little flashes, it's only been their own undoing that Derby have had an opportunity. Well, if you believe the fact that um, the shot from Thorne didn't take a touch on the way through, Westwood's not had a save to make as Christie bends this one in, left by Hendrick, oh. up it goes to the edge of the box, might be cleared out to Dawkins, Dawkins quickly closed down by Lee, now a chance for Dawkins to shoot, blocked by Zayata. Great diving interception there by Camille Zayata, and Wednesday coolly and calmly now, after all of the madness, play the ball out from the back. Yeah, they played it out the back, it was a shot that went into towards Zayata, and he, he smothered it with his body. Maybe a chance here now for Hendrick, but there's Zayata again, didn't look as though he was going to have the pace to get there, but he's lifted the ball away from Hendrick and out on the far side for a throw-in. I mean, the, the, the Derby players were all crying for a, for a penalty. Zayatin smothered it with his body, not so sure there was a hand out there, but then it, they still had another opportunity, and Zayatin was there to clear the ball. But the free kick now for Derby, which is about 35 yards out. I'm trying to pinch a few yards there, the referee's not looking. So 38 minutes by my stop, watches in steps, what bends this one! Oh, brilliant save by Westwood, he flew away to his right-hand side, the ball looked as though it was going to nest in the top corner, but there was Westwood, outstretched hand, he parried the ball away for a corner. Ince, first time ball from halfway, high and over the top, looking for Darren Bent, hit cannoned off Bent into Tom Lees, and Wednesday are able to scramble the ball away. Brian Laws is our expert summariser. A hopeful ball forward there by Derby County, almost bore fruit for Derby County. Certainly did there, and I thought what a fantastic interception there by Lees. Just got his head on the end of it, and he just took it off the path of Ferg of the striker. Here's Dawkins trying to cross in, it's cannoned off Palmer and behind it goes for a Derby County corner. Derby's corner floated in, high into the box oh. and a glancing header and it's in. Derby County do have their equaliser Buxton. and it's Jake Buxton who got it, rose highest from the corner, it flew past Kieran Westwood, across him and into the bottom corner so Derby have their equaliser Derby won, Wednesday won and Keogh hammers the ball to the centre circle Up to Cyrus Christie, big sliding challenge by Lee, Derby though quickly get the ball back and it's with 
Hughes. Forward to Hendrick on the rim of the centre circle. Referee has to get out of the way as the ball is pushed back and it might be picked up here by Keane. Keane drives through, head to the box, shoots! And Keane has fired Sheffield Wednesday back in front. His second Owls goal, capitalising brilliantly by some sloppy Derby County defending. Keane raced onto it and from the edge of the box, he whipped a powerful shot past a diving Lee Grant. The Owls players go across to celebrate with the fans and Wednesday at 2-1 up at the Opro Stadium. Again seeking to get an equaliser, Sheffield Wednesday 2-1 up here. Hughes rolling the ball on, Ince first time shot left footed, blocked by a diving Sheffield Wednesday defender Kamil Zayata. Up comes the corner from Bryce and into the box it goes, Buxton oh, the target, no. and it's bounced and bobbled in. Buxton well, again. Well, Buxton again with the header, but there were two Sheffield Wednesday players seemingly in the way, and there seems confusion as to how it was able to wriggle across the line in the first place. So Sheffield Wednesday for the second time in the game, pegged back by the Derby central defender. It's Derby 2, Wednesday 2. That's a disappointing goal. They've manufactured goals out of mistakes by the Derby uh, uh, defenders, but it's still been a positive show. McGugan, off it goes now, then the shot from Hutchinson hit it from distance, and it just bobbled wide of Lee Grant's goal there, so... And the pair just interchange passes there, and Buxton will bring it forward from the back. Both goals similar, both, both from corners, near post headers. Poor defending by Sheffield Wednesday. And they've looked much better in attack when they've had opportunities here. It's won back in the centre circle by Lee to Hutchinson, who tried to thread it through, but Hughes wasn't fooled. And now Lingard will break through the centre circle. Off he goes, out to the far side. In, inside right channel of the box, and it's a rasping shot just wide across the face of Kieran Westwood's goal. It drops behind, it will be a goal kick. Watford nil, Norwich City 2 now at Vicarage Road. And Swansea lead Manchester United by two goals to one as Hughes threads the ball through. The charge is onto the edge of the box. Ince went for it. Westwood came after it. The ball's been knocked in. All eyes on the referee. The Derby County players have surrounded the referee. I can't quite see if he's pointed to the spot or not yet. Yes, yeah. Uh, the referee has pointed to the spot. He's got That's more. A red card. More sorting out to do. And Kieran Westwood has been sent off. And what looked as though it was turning out to be a brilliant day for Sheffield Wednesday has now turned sour. They haven't scored yet. Chris Kirkland has a couple of clean sheets to his name this season in the four games that he has played. So the referee blows his whistle. Darren Bent steps up. Off he goes, right-footed. It's past the diving Chris Kirkland. He made the decision to dive the right way, but the pace of the free kick just flew past him and into the bottom right-hand corner of the goal. And for the first time in the game, Derby County lead. Derby County three, Sheffield Wednesday two. Derby is everybody out. Kirkland has raced out of his goal, wanting to take the throw in quickly. By the way, Tom Lees looks, needs support. Back it comes to Kirkland as it sails high and over halfway. The referee calls full-time, and I have to say, the feeling from Derby County is one of relief. Sheffield Wednesday have led twice in the game, but have ultimately been consigned to a 3-2 defeat.